Do you want to go out in the garden? Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to the D Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. Um, today I'm outside because it's the middle of March. Uh, in fact, it was daylight savings time ending or starting today, whatever. The clocks move forward. We lost an hour of sleep. But I'm outside in the middle of a rain break to show you um, what's different in the garden <laughs> this month. Um, I'm not going to take you through every single garden bed because honestly not much has changed but I do want to show you what has changed because uh, some things are coming up out of the ground and some things I planted out here yesterday so I want to show you those things. So I'm going to start over here in this bed where I've got a lot of my brassicas, so kale, cabbage, broccoli, and what's new out here is some spinach. So a couple of things, I came through here yesterday and I ripped out all the weeds, but on half of this bed, oh great, here comes the rain. <laughs> On half of this bed, I took the weeds out and I put them in the compost bin. And on the back half, all I did was flip them over. And I want to test out the two different methods to see kind of which one's better. But yeah, here comes the rain. So I put out some spinach plants. And it was frosty this morning. So they got a little layer of frost on them. But as you can see, they're doing just fine. So I've got three new spinach plants over on this side. And then if I turn kind of slowly, I put one over there and I put one over there. So over here is one of those other spinach plants in my main bed here and technically that's three plants there but see basically I took I either had two or three plants per cup in the house and I just put out each cup so they're kind of clustered together um, this I also weeded um, all I did was turn it around with a garden rake, so you can see the weeds are still in there. I just disturbed them. And the garlic is one of the things I wanted to show you because they're coming up multiple leaves, growing up nice and strong. They're persisting through the frosty mornings and the wind here, you can see. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited. Now over on the other side here, I have these two cabbage plants that I harvested from last year and then they just grew back so I let them grow. And this one over here, I actually harvested one of the heads and I made egg rolls. So I've already taken a harvest from the garden this year and that just makes me so happy. And here's that last that last spinach plant all by its lonesome over here next to some garlic um, but this spinach plant is all by himself over here in this side bed so I'm in the front yard now and right up here by the front porch so here's our front door front porch area and right out front here this spot does not get a lot of sunlight we got little daffodils trying to come up, which is pretty nice. This rhododendron bush that I hacked away at last year, you can see the new growth because it's a nice light green. So it recovered nicely. It'll have flowers this year. Um, I've got carrots in the front bed here. I'm going to just let them keep growing because I don't think they're very big. Um, and then strawberries are still trying to hang on in there. But what I want to show you in the front is my main tulip bed out here. I'll show you the progress. So last month these were like barely coming out of the ground. Now you can see they're a good like three, four inches. 
out of the ground. Nice and sturdy leaves. Um, we've got, these are tulips all. These are all tulips. Um, these are the daffodils. And they're starting to come up as well. More daffodils here. Daffodils all along there. So they're starting to come up. And I'm very excited for when I see those flowers. And I see the Amazon van coming. And it's starting to rain again, so I'm going to go inside. I also have these mums inside. They're in the guest room. Um, so this, uh, the front of the house faces north. So there's no like direct sunlight that shines in here. Um, the sun is on the other side of the house. So this can get some really nice indirect light. So these are mums I bought last year off the clearance bin. And uh, I've kept them inside over the winter. And they're all dry and crispy leaves on here. So I'm slowly um, trying to bring it back to life here. And so they're getting some sunshine. They're getting some water. I'll come through and I'll take all these crispy leaves off. Um, and then we're going to try to bring them back to life and then plant them outside this spring so that throughout the spring and summer and fall, they can grow really, really strong roots and then just be able to stay outside. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I overwintered these correctly inside. So it is possible that these will not come back to life. And if that's the case, I will have learned something. Um, but I am hoping that they uh, come back to life and I'll have beautiful orange flowers this fall. I have so much dill and cilantro, it's fantastic. I think I told you guys I could not find fresh dill in the grocery store. So I have this pot is full of dill. Um, I had other dill seedlings. I transferred them from their individual cups and I put them in this pot yesterday. Um, they were very much leaning over in the cups, so they're still leaning over here. Um, but I'm not wanting to overwater them too much. So I think what I'll be doing here soon is coming through and harvesting some dill, which will work nicely because I like using it on um, fish. Um, so I've got some parsley as well in the kitchen and it just goes really nicely. But yeah, I've got lots of dill and cilantro and I'll have another pot of cilantro as well because over here is more cilantro. See how they're leaning over. So I need to put those in a pot. Um, but the lettuce is growing fantastically. So I'm starting to harden it off. So it's been outside two days now for like 15 minutes each. And then I'll start increasing that time. Um, yep, tomatoes have taken off. They are way too big for their little solo cups, but <laughs> I don't have anything else to put them in. So after we get through these freezing temps, these will start to go out and be hardened off as well. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of stuff growing here inside the house and basically I just need warmer weather so I can move them outside.